Hi, my name's Adrian Rollins. Welcome to AMA TV. Today we're talking with Dr. Steve Hamilton, AMA President. Another issue that's come to the fore early this year is a trial in Queensland allowing pharmacists to uh, provide vaccinations for their customers. The idea is being backed by those who think it's a way to improve access to vaccinations and to reduce some of the burden on GPs. What's the problem with this idea? Well, we've got great concerns with this trial that's been announced uh, to run in Queensland to actually provide uh, non-NIP, non-National Immunisation Program flu vaccines for the general population. The first thing we're concerned about, and we raised this with the pharmacy board's proposal, is this is out of scope for pharmacists. There's not one pharmacist in this country that's trained to vaccinate at all. Uh, vaccination is not simply a matter of sticking a needle through someone's skin. It's actually being able to discuss the pros and cons of vaccination, uh, to actually uh, to analyse the patient's medical history and make a decision about whether that's appropriate, uh, to actually be able to recognise the complications of um, vaccination. Some of those are minor, some of those are major, some of those are life-threatening. I guess the AMA has raised the issue of what's the problem we're trying to solve? There is no access issue with people getting to, to GPs. Uh, we do have trained nurses, we have treatment rooms, we have beds available for people to lie down. We're capable and competent in diagnosing anaphylaxis. We can provide that acute treatment, something that can't be done in a pharmacy. And we know that it, this is a clinical service. It needs to be done in a clinical environment, the sort of rooms that GPs have got. It's simply not appropriate to do this in a room full of toothpaste and toilet paper. 